Hello and welcome to a special episode of the Miniatures Rundown for the Nova Open Previews. I'm Joshua. <laughs> Mitchell, come on, you gotta record. <laughs> come on, come on. Don't make me get the cattle prod. <laughs> Fine. Fine. You know what? I'll, I'll, you know what? Fine. I'm Mitchell's here. a little salty. Despite being a Marine player. The Marines are fine. The, the, the Marines are on par with what I expected. We'll talk about it. We'll, we'll start with it. what's on par for what he expected. You know, a great lead in. <laughs> Basically, there's nothing new, new here. Right. Right now. This is, this is what this is what I mean. Well, there is later. So this first off, let's start off with the Terminators. Okay. Uh, the, there were monopost Terminators in the Leviathan box. Mm -hmm. We've got brand new multi-part kit Terminators that we all knew were coming. So yeah, it's the multi-part kit, but scaled up to the new size. We all knew they were coming. Yep. They look fantabulous. Agreed. They'll be a great way to actually get consistency between uh, chain fists and power fists. Yeah, because there's currently no way to just straight up make a chain fist. So you can proxy. Uh, not proxy, uh, kit basher. Can, am I the only one who, whenever I have like a <clears throat> monopose kit, mm -hmm. let's say from Leviathan, yeah. which has, for example, two chain fists and two power fists, am I the only one who will buy one of these multi part kits? And build them to fill out two different squads using my original monopose squad. No. You're not the only one. Good. Do the Leviathan ones have chain fists? Yeah, two of them have chain fists. I, I legitimately didn't notice I've that. I've always just said they've all got power fists. Yeah, to the point that I just gave them all power fists when I played them. <laughs> yeah, same. I think a lot of people do. <laughs> anyway, they look fantastic. Love the new Terminator sculpts. Yeah. But we knew this was coming. Yeah. Uh, if you want to scroll down, I think they show the, the special weapons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We do also get the uh, Heavy Flamer, which was not in Leviathan. I... That heavy flamer looks pretty good. I like the scale of it. And the missile launcher, I particularly like. I like the scale of it better. I like it better than the weird wing one they used to have. Yeah, the uh, the Scarab Occult still has something like that, and I don't care for it. They do. That one is really cool. Yes. Now, this one we didn't know for sure was coming. Yeah, this one was this one was a surprise, in my opinion. There was <clears> already <throat> a Chaplain in Terminator armor. Mm -hmm. So this is the brand new version. This one can come with a Storm Shield, though, which I don't think. Yeah, I don't think that's currently an option. They also give us a little rules preview for him. Ooh. Adds one to your squad's ruined rules in melee, which is something all they, chaplains they all do. do that anyway. On top of granting them feel no pain for up against mortal wounds. Oh, That's pretty big. That is. Because mortal wounds are one of the primo ways to kill a Terminator. Yes. A four up feel no pain against mortal wounds, not just psychic, which the librarian has. Right. But against all mortal wounds all the time on a unit that already does the majority of its damage in melee. Like, mm -hmm. Terminators are okay at ranged. They, yeah. You know, the Storm Bolters fire will <laughs> kill guardsmen sure but if you want to kill something you get into range with power fists mm -hmm. so plus one to wound on power fists means you're wounding even things that are lower than toughness 16 on a four yep that's pretty good uh so then you can kind of now normally you would just take the chain fist for that right but that means you can kind of punch up a little bit better than they could previously right because chain fists are basically power fists with minus one to hit but anti-vehicle right so you can get the plus one to hit and still wound on fours right which is nice right or take power fists and still wound bigger vehicles on yeah. fours instead of fives. Yeah. Kind of making them discount chain fists. Yeah. I don't know. I have to do the math to see which one's better. Yeah, I'm not sure. The fact that you can make your normal power fists hit on threes, or uh, sorry, on twos. Yeah. That's pretty good, too. That's pretty spicy. Anyway, uh, points. <clears throat> we'll have to see points. Sure. But also goes without saying, great model. Oh, yeah. I like the customizability. I like the 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 skull face design, design that they chose for the mm -hmm. new one. Um I want to see the helmet, though. Yeah, I think they showed the helmet in the preview. It's just not on this one. But uh, it's it's like full face, like a, like a reverse skull helmet. That makes sense. It looks pretty cool. For, as all chaplains do. Yeah. And then we've also got the new captain. Uh, again, this was in the Leviathan box as a monopose kit. Mm -hmm. Now it's a multi-part kit with hopefully better weapons. Yep. Because he, he kind of has weak weapons to start. Yeah, I'm not a fan. It's Power only strength sword. five, two damage, two AP. It's not great. Yeah, I don't really care for that. I like I like giving them all fists, all the fists all the time. Okay, same. And there you go. There's there's a fist all the time. There's a fist. I I like his uh, his sidearm though. That's yes. like that's like I guess from this angle it kind of looks shotgunny. That is a combi weapon. Yeah, it, it's a combi melta. Mm -hmm. But uh, combi weapon. Which now is a combi weapon. Uh, but it looks cool from this angle, and I like that it's white compared to his black armor. I like that. Yeah, one. that's a good way to do it. Yeah. Now onto something that we had heard rumors of for quite a while. Yeah, the they're basically the whole rumor is everything that was firstborn is now Primaris, and you know that's coming to fruition. Yep. 
Uh, there was also, apparently, when 10th edition came out, there was something that had uh, artwork of mm. these guys in it. Yep, it did. And, uh, you know, uh, GW heard your cries, Botan players. You wanted your jump pack Botan, so they gave you jump pack Marines. Yeah. Just don't play Botan. <laughs> Easy peasy. Okay. If I was making a fake mock-up, uh-huh. making fun of Games Workshop's tactical leap rocks, uh-huh. It would not it would be, be these exact five models. It would not be as much of a self parody as this is. <laughs> I don't literally like, every single one of them. I don't like plastic flight stands either. Yeah, but good God, that looks rock rock so silly. All of them simultaneously found a rock to jump <laughs> off. No, no, they carry them with them. Oh, and then when they're running forward, they throw it in front of them and then leap off of it. <laughs> it's it, it's levitating rock technology. Those aren't actually <laughs> levitating jump backs. God, I just... Okay, besides that, it's just intercessor with jump packs. That's it. Yeah. Uh, you could totally make these pretty easily with the Assault Intercessor kit and the old jump packs. I guess, yeah. I've heard they scale decently well. Yeah. So, just saying, just just, just saying. Yeah. Also, from the, the look of the, the, the kit that we're looking at, there's only five in a box. Maybe. Or they could double up. That's true. And they, they, they just didn't want to show, like, the same... Because most of the plans. ten kit boxes are just two sprues of five that's true i'm just saying or they could be five in a box at 70 bucks who knows <laughs> and look a blood angel yep and the power fist yeah the, they are for all intents and purposes assault intercessors that go zoomy zoom they're assault intercessors they are literally yeah jetpack assault intercessors. yeah which is fine and it's going to be like assault marines versus jump assault marines yeah you, generally you take the jump back yep hopefully they'll have a different ability from the regular that being said, that guy's cool. That model is great. I'm not going to lie. I... See, if I were to do anything, I would take all of the other guys off their tactical rock and leave him on his. His looks, a l for some reason, maybe the fact that it's taller. Yeah, maybe. If, when you look at it, so the left one here looks silly. <laughs> the right one looks better. Yeah. But honestly, that's what you're looking at more in-game anyway. That's true. You're not looking directly head on. Sorry, we didn't say what it was. This is the jump. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the jump captain with jump pack. This, yeah, this is once again replacing the old firstborn. Mm -hmm. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, but yeah, I like how this one looks, even with his laurels. Yep. Well, he probably has a different helmet. Hopefully. Uh, or you can replace says it. says he gives strength plus one to melee weapons. Ooh, that's whenever cool. Whenever they charge. That's that's awesome. So, considering that most of the, uh, these guys have chain swords. Yep. That are going to be a sturdy chain swords. So they're going to be strength. Four. Strength four. So that gives you strength five. So yeah. now you're wounding other marines on the three. Yeah. That's that's much better. That's pretty decent. Yep. Another option. Blood Power Angel. Fist. Power Fist. Yep. Same thing. Hand Flamers. Woo. Relic Blades or Chain Swords, Plasma Pistols, Bolt Pistols, etc. So yeah, they're, this is this is the normal spiel, but again, zoomy zoom. Yep. And the backpack, they're, they're, it looks like they're taking the... Uh, What's it called? The Inceptors? That yeah. Have the, like, little... Oh, that is just like the Gravis Armor backpack. <clears throat> yeah. With like the little the little flowy things. Yep. Those were actually originally on Reavers first. Yeah, which is strange because they have the Grav Shoots, which I think... That's what they are. Those, yeah. are. those are Grav Shoots. Those are the things that stop you. Yeah. Not help you fly. Well, there you go. The more you know. And then, of course, what would a bunch of new Marines be without a new book with all the rules in them? What? So... Um, Marines Codex completely out of the blue. <laughs> the blue. Shut up, because it's Walter uh, the So the thing that I, I've, I've seen is between this one and the um, the Tyranids one is it is the exact same book as the 9th edition cover, mm -hmm. except it has the little Aquila behind the guy. Yeah. And then the the Tyranids have the little Tyranid symbol behind the guy. That is the only difference. What I like about this one is, uh, first off, it says there's a special edition. It doesn't show you what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas the Tyranid one we were drooling over. Yeah, I hope it's as cool as the, as the Tyranid one. But they're not going to let me yeah, know. Yeah, we, we have no idea. Not until not until the preview goes up. Yeah. I mean, this is not this preview, but the Sunday preview. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it also says that uh, we got to one-up Tyranids here because Tyranids got six detachments. Well, these guys get seven. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, and they do clarify that and... the seven detachments are kind of mapped to existing chapters, but they are not Yeah. Why are tied we... to the chapters. Why so... are there seven? I guess it, because Marines have to get more because there are six founding chap. There's six founding chapters. Why are there seven? One for uh, the seventh attachment, the first company task force. I thought that was the Ultramarines one. No. Oh, well, it's generic enough. Yeah. Ultramarines are generic enough. Well, Ooh. apparently not. Ooh. <clears throat> Fine. Whatever. And then we got two more kits. Yep. Company heroes, not company of heroes. The World War II real time strategy game. Right. <laughs> Company uh, Heroes. Which replaces the uh, 
what what was it called? Company Command, I believe. Company Command, yeah. Company Command Squad. Uh, sure, it's five HQs in one, mm-hmm. all with different rules, and unless they're really good and really cheap, no one's going to take it. Yeah, that's the thing. They look cool. They do look amazing. The problem with these mixed units like that is that they come with, hey, this guy's really good in melee. This guy wants to be at ranged. Yeah. And that doesn't usually synergize. It's the same thing with the command squad for a guard. Yeah. This often happens with these mixed command things. Yeah. They have to have rules that are really flipping good to make you want to take them. Now, to be fair, I could see you buying this and going, this is my Judicare. And this oh, is sure. my ancient. Uh, that's, so that's five HQs and one for a different reason. That being said, I'm going to, at a glance, I think these guys are on 40s. They might be. I mean, most, most Marines are on, uh, most Marine HQs are on 40s now. Right. So that'd be... Not that hard, I don't think. Uh, but they look fine. I they brought up on the live stream. I was I was watching it briefly as I was working last night. The one guy with on the right with the mechanical arm looks really cool. Um, even though I don't know what he's supposed to be. He's just a veteran. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's captain, uh, ancient, company champion, and then two veterans. Okay. Okay. Yep. <laughs> two mooks. Two mooks. And then some some options for the guys in that kit. Pointing power fist and plasma gun. Yeah, it says you know the uh, the champion has a, a precision power weapon, just like the current champion does. Yeah. The ancient gives you more OC, uh, and then everyone makes the wound rolls worse against the captain. Basically, this is a way to have a captain that's not attached to a squad. Sure. That he's his own squad. Well, you can also attach the company command squad to a squad. Right. But then to, you just to, yeah. just to make like a fifteen man squad if you really want blast weapons to destroy you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you really want to get nuked by a basilisk. <laughs> and and then of course the other one that we knew was coming, yeah. stern guard vets. Stern guard vets with the uh, multi option kit. Yep, uh, which is cool. They call out the back banner. I hate back banners. Me too. They 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 break and then you get they get lost and they're useless anyway. They do uh, have a new special weapon that we did not know was coming. Yeah, which is instead of the heavy bolter, you can have the pyre blaster, Ooh. which I guess is a super flamethrower. Tell me that's a two d six flamethrower. I would hope so. That'd be awesome. So interestingly, because the combi weapons right now are uh, their main shtick is anti infantry, inf- anti fewer shots, anti infantry. Right. Whereas the bolters are more shots and mortal wounds. Yep. Yeah. Or is it the more shots in the combis? Uh, I think it's more shots in the combis. No, it's so there's regular bolters mm-hmm. have two shots plus one for rapid fire, mm-hmm. and then the combis have one shot plus one for rapid fire, but um, devastating wounds. No, uh, no, they both have devastating wounds. One has anti infantry, right? Um, and then the heavy bolter has um, exploding hits, right? So we'll see what the pyre blaster is. It might synergize more with the anti energy, anti anti infantry potential of the that. Would make weapons. sense. Yep. <laughs> Whereas the heavy bolter kind of synergizes more with the longer range with bolters. It's true. They look fine. Yeah, they are basically what we were expecting from the multi-part kit. They're, um, they're very busy. Yep, they're they're the guys that have been around and know what they're doing, I guess. So they've got medals. Sure, and they got to show them off. And then the last but not least, or rather last but literally least. Literally least. <laughs> this, is, this I did not see coming. <clears throat> New scouts. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they look like the neophytes from mm-hmm. the Black Templar kit, and they look really good. They are miles and miles and miles and miles better than the old one. Yes. Unlike, like, the veterans, sure, the Terminators, sure, but, like, these guys. The old scouts were bad. Yeah. an update. Uh, yeah, these guys look sweet. I probably still won't buy them. They are stealthy. They did call out specifically, um for a rules preview, I don't know if it's written in the article, that they are a, um, what is n- known as an uppy downy, mm-hmm. where they can leave the field and then deep strike again, Yep, which is nice. It's not in here, but that was kind of it's their not... shtick beforehand. Yeah. So what I find interesting is they call out that it seems like instead of having a scout sniper squad, mm-hmm. it seems like you're going to either get to pick a sniper rifle, a missile launcher, or a or heavy bolter. Yeah. So instead of having a squad of scout snipers, you get... A squad with one sniper. Right. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I would like it to be like maybe every five guys and it's five to ten and you could have two snipers. And that would be better. Maybe it is. But if it's like ten guys, you get one sniper. That's not enough to kill anything. No. And I don't really care. But they often do that with sniper rifles. Well, I mean, the scout sniper kit. Not in, sorry, outside of Space Marines. That's true. Other more recent snipers, Death Corps of Krieg, uh, Kazarkin. 
Yeah. They get one sniper in But the I don't like that. I like multiple snipers so that you can actually, you know, do what they're supposed to do. Right. <laughs> I don't want to kill a marine over three turns. <laughs> well, too bad. <laughs> Should have brought eliminators then. Fair. Either way, they look great. They do. This is surprising me, especially when they said, oh, they're going away. LOL, JK. Yeah, so this is what I meant by, like, it's basically what I expected. Mm -hmm. It was the stuff in the Leviathan box and a bunch of stuff that previously went away and they're redoing. That's basically it, except for the Terminator Chaplain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is, you know, that's fine. I'll, the kits look cool. I'll, I'll, I'll buy it. And then we leave the grim, dark future of the 41st Millennium. And In, go to Age of Sigmar. Into the Molten Realm. The Grim Dank. The Grim. Because, you know, they're Dankhold Trogoths. Because they are Dankhold Trogoths. Do you get it? So I will... This is the first thing that pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that Gloomspite gets needed another box set. In this, the Harbingers line, they already got one. Now they get the whole book. <laughs> now they get a whole book to be focused on. Sure, he looks cool. He looks fine. Like, I don't like his club. I don't like his stupid, ugly face. But, you know, Trograths look like that, and that's not their fault. Um, but he, they, Gitz didn't need another new model. You know who needed a new model? Cruel Boys. They just got a whole line of new models. Three years ago! <laughs> They haven't gotten a single one since. It's only been two and a half. It's not been three yet. And they did get a, a new one. Wasn't it one of the uh, opening models or a Warhammer Plus model or like a store anniversary model or no, something? No, I don't think. I don't think. I don't, know. I don't believe so. <laughs> Sorry, I don't care. They're cool boys. <laughs> That's true. Uh, so yeah, this is a destruction model that is in a faction that just got new stuff. They got one new thing. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and it wasn't a hero centerpiece like this guy. It was, was. a hero, but it wasn't a centerpiece. Right. Not a centerpiece hero is what I said. Yeah. That, I'm just I'm just saying. Look, gets were so bad for so long. <laughs> you have to give them this, man. Yeah, we need to give them a new model. But the book is coming out. No, we need to give them another new <laughs> model. Anyway, this is a, a dual <clears throat> talk about here. Yep. If you're done with your little rant, Mitchell. I'm done with the first one. Oh, no. <laughs> so this is... Uh, Trug's Trogherd, which is King Trug. Yep. And uh, he, uh, I like that he has a, a big, like, I don't like his his butt crack. I like I that he has, yeah. I certainly don't like his butt crack. They should have accentuated that even more and put, like, the shine. Very, very much a Magic the Gathering player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> cue the meme. Yeah. Um, and I like the, uh, like, ritual site on his back. Yeah, that's a, a site that apparently fell on him and woke him up <clears throat> and is now leading him to... Go around the realms yeah. on magical ley lines. He's like, he gets a headache when there's magic near him. So he's following the ley lines to try and turn off the magic is what yes. they said on the live stream. Um, it's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> also, the only reason he is called the king is because the hype man from the, the bat guy hype man from the, the actual, you know, the other model that you're oh, complaining about. Yeah. Tells everyone he is because he oh. doesn't actually care. Okay. No, no, no. I bet he doesn't. <laughs> Anyway, he's also the cover star of book two of the Dawnbringers. Yep. The, uh, Getting that. The ending books of Age of Sigmar's third yep. edition. Because don't forget, in summer we get a fourth one. Yeah, we will. <laughs> yep. Reign of the Brute. <clears throat> so there's a Trug and his entourage, a great stomp, and they once again call out the, the piggies. Yeah. But they're not in this. <laughs> Spoilers for what we're going to talk about next. Yeah, that's true. And hey, there's the the actual box. It's him and a bunch of yeah. Denkolds. Yep, Denkold Dragos. So yeah, that's fine. Apparently, they said he quote regenerates more than a regular Trogoth, mm -hmm. which worries me because I've seen how much a regular Trogoth regenerates. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> it also says that this book has three factions with match play armies of renown, including Keratron Overlords. Which... Yeah, they didn't say that in the live stream. Yeah, it's right here. And As that's the only one that they said, which is fine. But. KO, sure. So, yeah, it, it's one of those things where I don't like new rules being tied to these books. Yeah. Because I don't like it when they sell these books on new army rules. Mm -hmm. They kind of avoided doing that in the end of 10th or end of 9th edition. Yeah. But they sure as heck went all in on that in Broken Realms. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I don't really want to see more of that. Yeah, they're kind of doing it again. Yep. Speaking of doing it again. Okay, rant number two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Okay, so this is. 
even closer to <laughs> this is even closer to Cruel Boys, but not Cruel Boys. Now I'll give you the Iron Jaws are older models. I'll give you Iron Jaws are older models, but they don't look bad. I think they look fine, and you're you're you're. I I agree they don't look bad. They did look old. Yeah, but I also agree with you that I did not particularly think that Iron Jaws needed a whole line refresh. Yeah, like I could I could name I won't because I can't off the top of my head. I could <laughs> given given enough time I could name five factions that need a refresh more than Iron oh, Jaws. Oh, I can do that off the top of my head. Yeah, <laughs> Skaven, 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 <laughs> Skaven, um, Flesh Eater Quartz. Oh yeah, they didn't say anything for Flesh Eater Quartz. It's the it's <laughs> guys. It's the last book. <laughs> You should have said something about Flesh Eater Quartz. <laughs> Literally anything. Say it's coming. <laughs> well, what, you don't like Elvis Squig? Oh my god. No, it's Jojo Squig. Ugh. <laughs> and the Phantom of the Opera Orc. God, I... Anyway. Walk the... once again with me. The models look cool. By I like Jojo Squig. <laughs> I like his flaming me- molten sword. It's cool. Yeah, but I don't want to paint that. Oh, no. So we've got one hero, Zogrok, Anvil Smasher. Yep. He's a hero who can, uh, he really likes messing with magic, basically. Oh, and he gets a little, uh, like, what are those, what are those called for furnaces? Tongs? Yeah. Uh, are they just called tongs? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They get, he gets little fire tongs as an option. Mm. Well, I like the tongs. Tongs are like a dragon. They're like a dragon head. I mean, he looks great. I just don't like orcs. Yeah, I know. In general. So when we get to the Brute Ragers, which are bigger orcs don't they already have iron jaws but crazy yeah they're called iron jaws brutes <laughs> these are different ones these are different crazy orcs got it and then we get the weird brute rekkas yeah they're actually strange because i think the top guy doesn't have a face so they <laughs> hammer these things onto them because when they get too wad up they start vomiting green goo apparently. okay i'm with you i don't like orcs yeah. <laughs> Now, the final one. So, here's my question. Because these... Are these replacing the Iron Jaws Brutes that we have? Uh, good question. Because the Ard Boys clearly are. Yes. These are just called Ard Boys. Yeah. And they look good. They look great. They, they have more armor. They do. Whereas the previous ones were very much like a holdover from End of yeah, Fantasy. Definitely. These are like Ard Boys that are completely armored up to the gills. Yep. I still hate the yellow color scheme. It's the only thing that throws me off. If that was any other color... I yeah, I get why they do that because there's not other yellow armies. I know, but but yellow is my least favorite color. And then here's the fun thing. Yeah, this instead was of unexpected. Now, <laughs> receive rules in the upcoming Dawnbringers Two: Reign of the Brute, uh-huh. uh huh, including an army of renown. So I'm assuming that means we're gonna get the new pig, the big pig. Yeah, finally, known, the Bane Blade pig with sponsons. Yes. Uh, they're also getting a free downloadable supplement. online battle tone supplement. Yep. So here's the question. Does the supplement come with those rules too? Or do you have to buy the book? I don't know. I, I really don't. So this is uh, Iron Jaws getting two books in the time it took. <laughs> and Flesh Eater Quartz still doesn't have one on the horizon. Yeah, yeah. Did Iron Jaws need a book? A supplement? Are they doing that badly? I, no. I know Cruel Boys are garbage tier. Cruel but... Boys are worse and uh, Bone Splitters are worse. Yeah. So no, Iron Jaws are the best ones. I think they're just leaning into people like Iron Jaws, so just play Iron Jaws, damn they, it. They do. They should lean into Cruel Boys, because Cruel Boys are new and flashy, and they need more units. No, 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 Flash gets her 40k. Shut up, Josh. Also yellow, by the way. Mm-hmm. Speaking of 40k, and back to 30k. Back to 30k. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, this I actually like. So the The Dorito Dreadnought. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say the Dorito as well. Yeah. This is the Dreadnought that makes it the most clear is that there's nothing left of that Marine except his head. Oh, no. He has, he he might have, like, his lungs left. And his stonking great tits, apparently. <laughs> yeah, they just couldn't hide them. That's going to get cut, but it's fine. <laughs> uh, Yeah, so I, I don't mind the Daredeo Dreadnought kit. It's okay it's very battle tech it is very battle tech it has the like really flat top mm-hmm. uh and it is very clearly the ranged dreadnought yes <laughs> what makes you say that mitchell i'm not i'm not i'm not picking up your vibes is it here. the four giant cannons or the 36 missiles or the two heavy bolters 
<laughs> I forgot. I didn't forgot about the heavy bolters. Yeah, we don't. We're not going to talk about where those are. Yeah, <laughs> I like one of that caliber. Caliber. <laughs> uh oh, or the plasma, and those are really those are really large plasma uh, coils there. Man, it seems like if you could just get up to this guy and rip the cables out, you'd win. <laughs> He'd be like, oh no! <laughs> this guy's, I mean, I guess he's already super weak in melee, but that's true. Honestly, he should take critical hits in melee just because <laughs> someone hits the pot, the cables. Uh, oh, and you get a heavy flamer in, uh, instead for his, his booby guns. Yeah. <laughs> um, I know, again, it's a nice kit. This yeah. was previously a resin kit. It's now plastic. Now going plastic. Speaking of previously resin and now plastic. Mark III Marines. Actually, these were plastic, weren't they? Just bad plastic. They were, yeah, they were bad plastic. I can't remember. It doesn't matter because they're now <laughs> here. New. Yeah. And they have the, the actual, like, night helmets. Oh, I like the guys with the the helmets off, like, with the just the rebreathers on. Those look better. Mm, I like the one cosplaying as a Prussian here. Yep. But the, the night helmets with the grills, not really not really my style. Yeah, it's very clearly an older aesthetic for yeah. what it is. Um, I mean, yeah, literally. I could see putting a few of these in a... Uh, Dark Angels to go over the night thing. Sure, I could see that. Probably, and they kind of called us out uh, with the, the factions down here. I think Iron Warriors pulls this off better than anyone else. Yeah, that's true. Because this is literally the called the Iron Armor. Yeah. Okay. And it being it being silver makes it look uh, significantly better. Yeah, I agree. Again, night aesthetic. So what's more surprising mm -hmm. is that another Horus Heresy box is coming. Oh, I completely missed this. Yeah, so this has 30 of these Mark III Marines, uh -huh. one Dorito Dreadnought, uh -huh. and a Land Raider Proteus for funsies. Cool. So here's the question. Yeah. The last one is uh, was what, 250 when it came out? Oh, 300. 300 when it came out, yeah. And it was now up to 310. Yep. Inflation! Inflation. <laughs> Are they going to price this as aggressively? I think so. Because, so if we do, if we do the, the mental math, mm -hmm. each of the uh, kits for the you said how many thirty of the marines thirty so that means to me because oh. previously the uh, the Mark Six Marines comes in twenties yeah this means that these guys comes in tens that's true so let's say okay sixty bucks a pop yeah so sixty 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 that's one eighty uh, -huh. uh the dreadnoughts eighty yeah the dreadnoughts are currently 80. so there you're at two sixty at that point yep and then that's a ninety dollar land raider I mean honestly you're probably because yeah the um normal land raider is ninety I forget how much a Proteus is. I think it's I think it's about that. Yeah. So you're looking at um 260 plus 90 value is 350 is you're looking at about 350 value, which is less than the previous one. It less, is. The other one was like what $700 in value or something. Yeah, ridiculous. it was something stupid. Um, I could very much see this box still being 300 bucks. Yeah. So I, it's not nearly it. as good of a deal, but it's still a good deal. Yeah. I I would hope it'd be a little bit less, like two, 260. That's maybe, the thing. But, if they put know. this out at 300 and the other one's 310, then it's still a really dumb basic obvious which one you buy yeah the, i mean the other one's still available it's right not yeah. like it's that's gone. what i mean yeah so it's not like there's you know doing fomo yeah would you like 30 marines or 30 marines one dreadnought and a tank or 40 marines two heroes one dreadnought 10 terminators and a tank exactly for 10 dollars more exactly <laughs> so maybe this will be 210 or 250 yeah i could see this at 250 even at um, 250 that was just such a grossly better deal yeah right we don't play heresy though so yeah they're they're fine if you really, really want a... Um... Iron Warriors has always been the chapter I'd like to paint. Oh, yeah? As if I was going to paint a Chaos chapter, but it's low on my list of want. That's fair. So I um, don't think I'll be buying this. The only, the only reason I don't... Well, I, that and they're all silver, but the Hazard Stripes. I don't want to paint Hazard Stripes. See, Hazard Stripes are a pain in the butt to paint, but they look so cool when uh, you do paint them. I hate it. Yeah. That and my, um, my brother-in-law who taught me how to play, mm -hmm. he plays... Uh, uh, Blood, not Blood Angels... Black Templar, but he has the red fist with with hazard stripes on him. Every single one. Good and, gosh. Yeah, and he's because he's insane. Um, but yeah, they look great. But man, I don't want to paint them. <laughs> and then we go right back to Age of Sigmar. Yep. Uh, you think they would do that in the other order? But whatever. One of these we've seen already. The other one we've not. Yes. So the one we've seen already is the Wilder Corpse. Uh, yeah, the humany. What we have not seen is the Gorger Maw Pack, which is hey guys. Another destruction carry yeah, unit. Yeah, this really is the Age of Destruction. Yeah, it is. It is currently Age of Destruction. So these are for the um Oryx or not Oryx. Um, oh my gosh, uh, ogres. ogres. Yeah, these are. They're like, they they they're they're even more always hungry, and that's why they're emaciated. Sorry, wait. They look like flesh eater cards models. 
Dun dun dun. <laughs> maybe they're maybe they have ally flesh. Yeah, these are better flesh eater corpse models than the flesh eater corpse. Yeah, quartz. they literally look like. The... I would use these as crypt horse. Yeah, they look like crypt horse, but they're destruction. Don't worry about it, <laughs> guys. Are we sure we didn't mislabel these? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't understand. Uh, yeah, I did not see this coming. Yeah, I mean, no, me either. Th this one was a surprise, mm -hmm. but I don't like ogres, so it's not really a big thing for Same. me. Same. <clears throat> these guys. Did we see all of these models already? I think I remember, we had. I remember the dogs. Same way as games you over here. Yeah. Uh, this one's really important because it's the one with battle doggos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So these are Cities of Sigmar Wilder Corpse. Yep. Um, I'm assuming... Oh, oops, I forget whether these are in the tome or not because we didn't actually look at the tome. We did not look at the tome, no. But these are great looking models. Very much the ranger aesthetic. Yeah, I like... But still with the goofy helmets. That, that's fair. <laughs> I don't really care for the helmets, but... I like the hooded ones better. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't like the... What is what is that little wing on your helmet supposed to do? Is it supposed to be a sword deflector? I think the thing like those are ornamental. I think it's so that you get hit on the top. There's not a easy place for it to like dent in. I guess. But I also think that's just GW being GW. That's true. For the small ones like this, like the little knob here, yeah, that's what it is. It's like if someone can't get a good hit on the top of your head. Yeah. But for the wings here, that's that would just catch a sword. Right? No, I mean the wings on the side, like where the ears are. Oh yeah, that's um, that's a. Yeah, so a sword deflector. Yeah, somebody can't hit you in the ears. I mean, having just a regular helmet would do that too. <laughs> sure, but that's more expensive. They're called kettle hats. Oh. They were very historically common. I forgot that Josh is a history nerd. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! And um, among other things. And then we got battle And then doggers. we have the best part in the whole. Yeah, right. Just all the dogs. They're cute. Yep. I love them. They're adorbs. Send them to your enemies yep. to die horribly. Are they going to be like the, the birds where they're like a whole separate unit? Or... That is a great question. Yeah. Maybe, maybe maybe we'll know. So what's interesting about this box, and you can see this if you scroll up and look at the box, mm -hmm. it's not a full-size box for Warcry. It comes with an terrain piece. <laughs> Is that That's supposed to be... Yeah, yeah, a mop pit. Yeah, it's a mop pit. It's a Sarlacc pit, you know. Yeah. Uh, sure. So the uh, description says that uh, it eats everything nearby, but unlike the Sarlacc from Star Wars, it doesn't have any tentacles that, that like pull things in. So I think it just kind of waits. So it's got they got to fall inside. Eats very very stupid people. Yes. Or it's it has lost its tentacles because it's being fed by the mob. Uh, maybe Maw maybe maybe said mob crushes. I mean uh, ogres. Yes. So yeah, that's interesting. It's the the box comes with the two. Uh, war bands and this thing and this then uh, the book the book but no big terrain no more meat trees thankfully yeah i think we're all <laughs> sick of meat trees including games workshop yeah do we have another way we can work in meat trees no nah screw it give them a sarlacc yeah <laughs> no but i've got uh this thing from star wars legion that we can repurpose <laughs> is it copyrighted no put it in <laughs> so those of you who have played total war warhammer 3 you might recognize this as being very similar to the great maw that is on the campaign map near the ogre homelands oh wow so it's very clearly a callback to that that's crazy i know mitchell doesn't play no i don't play speaking of sucking this is the one i like the i i, I already had this set up this is the thing i was the most excited about uh because i like the vampire team they're cool oh i didn't mean you sucking i meant like the maw sucking things in sorry but... oh yeah yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but we can we can pretend it was that if we you want we can pretend it was that well it was the the speaking of sucking and then i follow immediately with um this is the thing i was most excited about <laughs> that's a good point <laughs> yeah that's kind of weird it's the drac fang thirsters uh so those of you who've been playing Baldur's gate 3 will be excited to see asterian's cousin in here Ugh. I'm tired of hearing about that game <laughs> sorry i'm gonna be talking about it for a few more months man it's 100 hours long that's fair anyway uh yeah this is an interesting one yep they have uh I actually mentioned this a couple weeks ago in was it a couple weeks ago? No, it was in the uh, the kill team of the chaos cults. Mm -hmm. It was this is the the vampires team. Those are the same picture. Yeah, <laughs> they just duplicated it. <laughs> Whoops. Um, it is uh, a few really strong vampires and then thralls that are very bad, but the vampires eat them. Right. Yeah, to heal themselves. <laughs> well, hopefully they get updated rules, but that's what they do now. Some of the vampires look fantastic, and like these, like this vampire right here. Yeah, you could very easily use that for you to sigmar. Oh yeah, easily. Because she's not that football-ish. Nope. It's like the shoulder pads are painted that way. But other than that, yeah. And the thralls you could use as zombies, or oh, yeah. I mean, heck, you could have, honestly use them as vampires too, just weaker ones. That's true. My favorite though is this Count Chocula looking guy <laughs> <laughs> with the tallest collar on the face like, of the planet. He looks like Count Chocula in a football ad. Yes. Is what he looks like. He does. 
You are very correct. Go along. I'm going to throw a hail mary. <laughs> no, this is this is the time in uh, Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> I've not seen it. Sorry. Uh, well, okay. A movie you've seen that I haven't? Yeah. Oh, don't worry. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, really. <laughs> Um, and that it's the break in the middle when they play football, like in Twilight, when they break to play baseball. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> now I'm crossing that movie off my list. Yeah, that's fair. Not much to say about these otherwise. Uh, some wonderful tokens, of course. Yeah, Ooh, I like the uh, the uh, man, me stumbling on words. Yes, that one. The, the coffin. Co the coffin thing, yeah. I like that this is a gargoyle. I said sarcophagus, but this is not Egypt. <laughs> I like that there's a gargoyle who's just wrapped in... Yep. Binding, that's the football. That's the football. The bat's, like, pushing the football along. It's cute. I like it. Not expected. I'm going to go for a touchdown. <laughs> he. I like that he is doing the, like, go long throw football pose, but he's also doing the, like, left-handed claw. The, the Bella Lugosa, yeah. Lugosi uh, <laughs> hand thing, yeah. Oh, R.I.P. Bella Lugosi. You've only been dead for 60 years. Yeah. Speaking of being dead for a long time? Man, that wasn't no. a great segue. <clears throat> We've got the new season of Warhammer Underworld, Death Gorge. Death Gorge. So we've we've left the Gnarlwood, mm -hmm. unlike Warcry, which is doing one last victory lap in the Gnarlwood. Yeah, sure. Uh, we've left, left the Gnarlwood for the frozen southern continent, mm -hmm. where the Everwinter has kind of ruined things. Which is interestingly where the... Not the same place that the uh, current season of Age of Sigmar is taking place, though. Because that's a different frozen continent. Oh, good. Yeah. Because <laughs> we, we, this one's in the south. That one's in the north. Oh, I mean, that makes sense. I, no, it doesn't. Uh, it makes sense that there is multiple frozen continents because that's how the Earth works. Yeah, but this one is very distinctly not... No, no, because this isn't how... 20-minute explanation <laughs> of uh, Age of Sigmar Tw mythology 20 later. minutes later. Yeah. Anyway, it's dumb. <laughs> so, this is the next season of Warhammer Underworlds. It's in the icy place. Yeah. I it's, don't really like that map. It's kind of hard to read. It looks weird. But the war bands. I don't like those either. What? I don't like the slash ones. What? Yeah. What? Hot take. You don't like these slash models. I don't like the slash models. The last the last war band, those I loved. Right. These I don't like. So I was going to comment, this is kind of weird because this is the second time a season launch box has had a uh, Slanesh Warband in it. That's true. This is the most attention Slanesh has ever gotten. That's true, too. Which is ironic, given what we're going to talk about after this. <laughs> <laughs> Editor, please put in a Mitchell aneurysm asterisk right there. <laughs> Mitchell squeals See, with anger. I mean, I think these are appropriate. Okay. okay. That one's better. I think these are appropriately grotesque. Yeah, this one's just horrifying. I don't like him This This one looks like your grandma. Yeah. Who is, uh, come here and give me a kiss. <laughs> Grandma, please put on a shirt. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. Uh, this one looks good because it reminds me of uh, the dancer on the back of Celesque. Mm -hmm. um, because Celesque has those type of like spikes coming out of its back. I like, and this one is very elegant. I, I like the uh, Haribo twin snakes bottom. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, this, the snake uh, bottom is also... Uh, very flavorful. I, I imagine her kind of like walking like a normal person, but with snake legs. It, interestingly, it looks, I, I guess I can't really parse it out from here, but it looks like the left snake leg is, is significantly <laughs> shorter. Right, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's a guiding leg. I Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it's vestigial. And this, then this one, I legitimately can't comprehend what's going on. Well, she's got a body. Uh huh. They, I should say, have a body, and they have four arms and two legs and a tail. Uh huh. I actually like this one a lot. This this is my second favorite. I think this one's my favorite. The headpiece is very extra. The headpiece is very extra. Uh, yeah, I don't really care for this one. I feel like it's it's. I feel like it's trying too hard. So I think what's probably confusing you is that the this arm right here and this arm right here are holding daggers, whereas right. these two are, are the claws pinch, are pincher claws. So they're like they're like cat not catty corner, but like diagonal from each other. Yes, I don't really care for that. Which is interesting and weird. It. But that's like a Keeper of Secrets mm -hmm. who has two two regular hands and then two claws, but they're not category from each other. The claws are underneath. Sure, but this one had to be extra. I don't like it. Uh, I also love the lore that these uh, three all hate each other's guts and they've been sent here as punishment because they won't stop bickering. See, that's actually kind of funny because in the previous, not the current Slanish book, but the previous one, it was the one where you could, the sub-faction where you could have multiple... Uh, warlords, but they couldn't get near each other. Yeah, because they hated each other. <laughs> Celeste themselves <clears throat> sent these three knuckleheads on a uh, friendship quest <laughs> to gather 666 souls. Okay, I like I like that a little bit. I like that a little bit. 
I still don't like the big fat one. I also don't like uh, what's his name the the guy in the in the palanquin. Oh, uh, Glutos. Glutos. I don't like his model either. So you just you're just fat Bobek. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, when it comes to Slanesh, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> How are they going to do Slanesh things? <laughs> they get tired too fast. <laughs> wow, Mitchell. Clearly, uh, never mind. <clears throat> so then we've got another Ideneth. Yeah. Sure. Ideneth. I'm, I'm gonna actually going to go left here. Yeah, that's So right. we've got the leader and then two thralls, Nomardi thralls. Yep. Uh, they look fine, but then, of course, they realize that the best way to sell an Ideneth box is to include a mascot. Yep. So we had Crabnos, and now we have Squidmar. You can't say Squidmar. Oh, wait, no, that's an actual guy. That's a Crap. person. Sorry. Uh, Squid. Squidnos? Squid. I was going for Sigmar. Oh, yeah. And Squid, but no. Well, if, one, one, of them is, YouTuber, if one of them is Kragnos, then the other one has to be Nagash. Just Squigosh? Squigosh? Maybe. And he is after Souls. Ah? It's Squigosh. It's Squigosh, we got there. And he has, like, squ I almost said Squigosh. Uh, Nagash has all those, like, <laughs> tentacles and tendrils going down with the magic. Perfect. It's a freaking got, it's a freaking squid, guys. I don't squigosh. know what to tell you. It's a, it's a squid. I don't like his triangle eye. Well, you know. That's how squid work. Or is it? No, it's not an octopus. It's a squid. Uh and like every other Underworlds set, it comes with a whole bunch of cards because we had to kill card bloat so we could have more card bloat. Yep. Yes, I'm bitter. Yep, you we will complain about it every single time. But anyway, uh Squigosh is an amazing <clears throat> model and <clears throat> I want Squigosh. Yes, obviously. And you know, between wanting Squigosh and loving these, depending on price, I could see myself getting the box. Really? But it would, it, it, it'll it depend on price. That's true. Oh, I forgot there's one more. There is one in more. In between this one. I was I was going to scream again, but I'll wait. So, uh, you know that scene uh, from <clears throat> Looney Tunes where it's Bugs Bunny on the unicorn? Kill yes. the wabbit? Yes, I yeah, that's what this is. Yeah. Not even wrong. It's, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce her first name. Elise, Elise, because it's an accent on the Elise Duchard, I think. Sure. I don't speak French or Bretonian as it is. Anyway, this is the new uh, handmaiden of the Lady of the Lake. So awesome. They were called Grail Maidens previously. It's a fantastic, gorgeous model. Yep. For... It's it's a great model. I wish it was not in Old World. Great to use as a proxy for something else. Oh yeah, definitely. Woo. Yeah, again, amazing looking model. The, the detail of the ribs on the horse. Yeah. That being said, painting a white unicorn. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That That is the type of model that is going to be entered for Golden Demon. Well, if it wasn't for the next thing. I mean other stuff. That's a different category, Josh. Yeah, yeah this is true. This is true. <clears throat> this is going to go under not heat monsters. But yeah. yeah, this is the kind of thing where if you can paint that well. Yeah, if you can paint that well, it is going to look amazing. Yep, looks absolutely fantastic, but yep. it's for A, Bretonians, and B, a game that's not going to come out for three years. Yeah. <laughs> three? Oh, I'm going to be generous. Man, I don't even like Bretonians so much I haven't even played them in Total War Warhammer. That's how much I dislike them. Yeah, I don't like Bretonians either, but this, model's look, this model this looks, looks great. And then last, but certainly not least. Probably the most. Probably most. We have the Phoenician Transformed and the... Most giantest letdown ever if you don't play 30k. In I am so mad right <laughs> now. I have been mad for a about 20 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Checks notes. Yeah, it's about 6 p.m. here. Yeah. This ended at about uh, 3. So um, 21 hours. You've been mad for 21 hours. Yeah. <clears throat> um, this model is amazing. This yes. model, look, just look at it. Now, don't think about it being resin. Don't think about it being resin. Just look at it. It's gorgeous. He is so pretty and yet terrifying. I love the the like face going down into his snake body. I love the multiple arms, like each holding a different weapon and the one claw. I love this model so much. But there's two problems with it. What's the first problem? Number one, it's Forge World Resin, baby. Yeah, I said don't so, think about it being dragon. Well, you know what? I'm going to think about it because I've been doing a lot of assembling of the things I got at Gen Con. Yeah. And um, Forge World Resin, baby. Those wings are going to be an absolute nightmare in Forge World Resin. God, the flashing, the yeah. flashing. The, the, the flashing, flashing before my eyes. Um, And then there's the fact that despite the fact that in 40k lore, Fulgrim is just futzing around the warp right now. Yeah. Like... He's or, he's not like the lion where he was in stasis and there needs to be a reason for him to come back. Mm -hmm. He's just out there. But no, if you scroll to the bottom of the page, let's rip the plaster off now. No, this model won't be getting rules for Warhammer 40,000. Just, but 
it, yeah, I, I saw it and I was like, oh, it says Horus Heresy. Okay, well, nope. Nope. And then I got stabbed. I got stabbed 14 times in the ribs. <laughs> I don't... Because, like, yeah, this is an absolutely <clears throat> gorgeous model. Even yeah. as somebody who doesn't love a lot of Slanesh, um, this is a great model. I love how it calls out that, like, the reason he's able to do this is because his old body literally just died. Yep. Like, he, he didn't transform. He just left the old body after Perturabo was like, you're a jerk, I'm going to kill you. And then he killed him. And, <laughs> and then like, he was like, ha ha! <clears throat> very, very similar to um, Lucius, who mm -hmm. has the armor of Shrieking Souls. Yeah. Um, but, like, so... <sighs> okay. This is another model. Going to be Golden Demon. It looks amazing. Yeah, you will see... The thing, the thing that I uh, find insane about him is that from tail to head is still shorter than his head to the top of his wings. Yeah. It is massive. Yeah. <clears throat> but the other thing that pisses me off is that this means we are a long, long, long way away from Emperor's children being their own faction in 40k. Because you think they're going to sculpt this guy twice? <laughs> <laughs> I am so mad. I mean, yes, they will sculpt him again. He will Are have... you sure? I'm not even sure anymore. <laughs> I'm not even sure. It might be in 10 years, Mitchell. I'll be old and gray. I'll be like, Emperor's children, I don't remember what that is. <laughs> You'll look like that Slash I'll look like the Slash <laughs> Mitchell, put your shirt back on. You can't tell me what to do. <laughs> uh, but I'm just... I want to know how big he is. The only reason that I could see that this would happen in 30k and not 40k mm -hmm. is because he is a different scale or different from the how they perceive him to be 10,000 years later i suppose he could be more snake like less less human on top less snake be, centaur even more chaos <clears throat> out yeah um because obviously like angron and like mortarian to an extent and, and magnus is basically himself but bigger mm -hmm. um but like angron is completely transformed right um because he's so mad mm -hmm. so i could see uh, Fulgrim being like crazier and bigger and after 10,000 years but you're right there's no reason for him not to be in 40k yeah that just seems like the only reason they wouldn't do that is because they're not coming out with the Sinesh book anytime soon right but man put a free war, war scroll or a free yeah data sheet online sell to the now here's the real reason they didn't want to do it yeah because they didn't want to make this guy in plastic but why not <laughs> plastic so sculpting for plastic does have different rules than mm -hmm. than resin. Mm -hmm. Injection molded plastic can only do <clears throat> certain things. There are things you cannot do with injection molded plastic that you can do with resin, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. I can only guess that this has been sculpted for a while to be in resin, and you can't just make it plastic. No, no, I, that I get. That I understand. That being said, why you wouldn't throw out make the rules bad? Who cares? Yeah, they work. Oh, I would. I would play them. People play Vastor. He's awful. <laughs> he is awful. He's garbage. But yeah, that is, it's such a, I mean, you know, appropriate for Slanesh players. It's such a nut punch. It is. It hurts me so much. Like, yeah. I'm still going to get this model. I don't even care. <laughs> See, I'm not. I know you're not. <laughs> like our friend of the show, Travis, was like, hey, I've got a, you know, a 30K lion I could probably sell you because I play Dark Angels. And I was like, ooh, but I would have to assemble a 30K lion in Forge World Resin. And I don't really don't want to do that. And I had a lot of fun assembling the plastic kit. I don't think I'd have fun doing it in resin. <laughs> you would not. No. But yeah, it's it's such a beautiful model. This is... I, I hope this is the opposite of what they did at the beginning of the uh, the new edition of Horus Heresy, mm -hmm. where they're like, oh, these guys are playable in 40k. And then a year later, they're like, never mind. Yeah, never mind, lol. Oh, that super heavy tank. Legends! Yes. Yeah. So I hope they do the opposite to this one. And they're like, oh, this isn't playable in 40k. Psych. We can only hope. We can... I, mm, I will... Every birthday, I will wish for that until it happens. <laughs> until I get a Fulgrim model. It's all I want. Oh. It's just showing GW's bias at how much they hate Slanesh. They hate us. They hate us because they want to be us. Editor cut to pictures of the new warband, like, popping up every time he says that. Yeah. Yeah, but the models are bad. <laughs> no, they're not! So, that's it for this week. That is that is all of them. That's it for the Nova preview. We're back to Space Marines. Um, overall, not a lot I care about. Like, I am less hyped for this than I was to see the Tyranids. 
because yeah. a Marine is a Marine, really. Yeah, like I said, the Marines, it was kind of what I was expecting. They just redid old stuff or stuff in the Leviathan box. Yeah. Uh, I don't play Warcry. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like Destruction as a whole, except for yeah, same, Cruel right, Boys. Same, same boat on that. Yeah, and Cruel Boys was kind of uh, a crime of passion because <laughs> I was I was basically handed two boxes of Dominion. So I was like, well, I might as well play Cruel Boys. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Uh, same with, uh, Sigmar. Yeah, uh, I mean, Squid Nash is... <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not, squid. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of any of this, except Fulgrim, and I can't use him. The most exciting thing about this preview to me is that we're finally getting the Marines out of the way so we can move on with our dang lives and the rest of 10th, 10th edition. Yeah. And I can desperately, desperately hope that the Marine Codex is not brokenly overpowered and nerfs Desolation Marines. Yes. I think you and I will be ho make, hoping our hopes for a long time. You yeah. for Plastic Fulgrim, me for Desolation Marines being bad and actually removed from the Codex. Actually, I actually think they've just been removed. Don't worry. Every At the beginning of every edition, they have a brand new Marine unit that's mm -hmm. completely broken, and then they nerf them into the ground. They're not usable I'm anymore. hoping. I'm hoping for the nerf. I'm hoping the ground is coming up in two weeks, man. <laughs> I'm hoping it's coming up fast. If, you know. Yeah. They, they got to release new points, right? What's that ra you know flat thing rising towards me rapidly? <laughs> Hello, ground. <laughs> well, thanks for tuning in for our blather. We'll see you next time there's a big preview. Bye-bye.